What's up, y'all? It's your boy Master P. Dot back with another video again. For those that are new to my channel, like the video, comment below, subscribe to my channel, and follow my Instagram. So let's get on to it. Um, I want to talk about this. Now, I'm not the only one that um, feel certain type of ways about this for what I'm about to talk about. And y'all need to pay attention. Y'all, y'all need to hear this. Now, Zach Ertz. One of the greatest titans in franchise history. Without a doubt, no question. We appreciate for his hard work and dedication. Yes, despite what happened in the off season, we thought he was going to be gone from the team for good. We, we thought he was going to play with another team. Now, I have no problems with it. He's a big help. He is a huge bonus. And we need a veteran tight end for right now. So, um, because we don't know what Dallas got is going to do by himself for right now. But now that he's 26 catches away to break the franchise record with receptions. Now, my thing about this. I don't mind him breaking the franchise record. But at the same time, I feel a certain type of ways about this. Now, I'm going to tell you why. Now, now, he's only 26 more catches away to break the record with the most receptions in franchise history. I don't have a problem with that. But one of the things I'm concerned about is that um, for the person's record that he is about to break, it's one of the greatest wide receivers in franchise history. And that is Hall of Famer, all pro, pro bowl wide receiver. Mr. Harold Carmichael, the tallest wide receiver in NFL history. There will never be another like him, the original 17. Now, I don't know how to um, describe this, but I'm trying to explain this the best way that I can. Y'all are familiar with Harold Carmichael. To the OG fans, to most majority of the fan base are familiar and know who Harold Carmichael is. Gigantic, friendly guy, humble guy, outside, outside of football, on the field, off the field. Helping out these young guys, the new players with the coaching staff for years in Philadelphia, helping out the organization and stay right there by their side. Yes, that's OG Harold Carmichael. And Zach Ertz, one of the greatest Titans in franchise history, along with the lights of the, um, the late great P.O. Pete P.O.'s. The Pete Retzlaff, may he rest in peace. <clears throat> the Keith Jacksons. The um, Chad Lewis. The Brent Selleck's. Zach Ertz is up there where those guys at. Now, my thing about um, Zach Ertz, I don't have a problem, but I have mixed feelings about this. And now, it's, it got to happen at the link when he breaks the franchise record. Say like if Harold Carmichael is watching at home or he is at the game waiting for Zach Ertz to break his record. He's going to congratulate him. Zachary is going to get the standing ovation at Lincoln Financial Field. And all the players and the coaching staff is going to congratulate him. And all the crowd at the link, the Eagle fans all over the world, is going to congratulate him. Giving him a round of applause. Standing up for him. Getting the standing ovation. Congratulating him. And then all of a sudden... About a few weeks or a few months later, Harold Carmichael is going to end up passing away. That is one of my um, concerns about this. Y'all need to think about that. Just think about it. For an example, remember when LeBron James signed with the Los Angeles Lakers? And as soon as he played these last few games playing with the team and he, I forgot which team he was playing against 
for those that, that remember, um, comment below. He was playing against, um, I forgot which team it was. And he was making so many, so many points and so many games. He broke in Kobe Bryant's franchise record. And you know how Kobe Bryant broke in on like Magic Johnson's record and some of the other Lakers, um, Laker legends that came before him. Now LeBron James, like, he broke in Kobe's record, and I think Kobe Bryant, he was um congratulating him, and he was getting the standard ovation, giving him a round of applause or whatever. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's my point of view. I'm getting my side of the story. The last time I checked, because um I used to be a huge basketball fan, but it faded on me. So I used to love the NBA back then, then I love the NFL right now. So I'm an NFL guy though, but. I want to get off topic, so I'm back while I'm saying. He broke in Kobe's record. He's getting um everybody was giving him a round of applause. I think Kobe Bryant congratulated him. And then about a few months later, in January 2020, before the coronavirus spreading around the universe, Kobe Bryant, his daughter Gianna Bryant. Uh, Gigi Bryant, Gianna, and the rest of the victims that was on that plane with them didn't make it during the plane crash. They all died. And that really like, messed up the whole world for them to find out that Kobe Bryant had passed away. That was the craziest news that we have ever heard. So that that's how I feel about um, Zach Ertz breaking the franchise record. So, um, like I said, I got mixed feelings about this. So, um, I'll be okay. I'm cool with, um, Zachary's breaking the record, but my concerns is that Car Harold Carmichael is going to end up passing away once he breaks his franchise record. So, um, and then Eagle fans going to be devastated. No question about it. You're going to hear it up. You're going to see it on the news. You're going to hear it on like sports center. ESPN, all that, even on the Philadelphia Philadelphia News, and all the players from the past, and some of the players um, now is going to be talking about what kind of a person and the type of player and a human being he was, and then everyone like on the Eagles roster and the coaching staff is going to um, do a dedication and a tribute to him. That's um, well. I'm having a feeling about if um, Zachary's like breaks the record. That's one of my concerns about it. But hey, like it's a part of life. You know what they say, like like move on from the past. One man, like one man down, on to the on to the next. It's gonna pass on to the next generation, and that's a part of life. God forbid if it happens, though. I'm just giving my, my thoughts and opinions about this. I had to share this with y'all. I had to let y'all know about this. Because I know, I know for sure that I'm not the only one that feels this way. That That is one, one of my concerns about it. So um, comment below. How do y'all feel about this? How do y'all feel about me talking about this subject? Do y'all agree with it? Do y'all disagree? Whatever it is, tell me y'all point of view. Comment below. God bless y'all. Fly equals fly.